Hello everyone, this is Transactonide, and I am playing the first Call of Duty, Infinity Ward. Yeah. Hey, I'm supposed to play a cinematic. Screw game. Fine, whatever. But here's why I decided to play this because, well, I got it on sale. Why not? And on top of that, I'm like, huh, I wonder how many Call of Duties I could do. Pretty much all of them except for three, which makes me sad. Oh, um, let's see. Let's go. I don't know how difficult it's gonna be. We'll do regular because it is an old game, so I'll read that in a second. Okay, I got it. I got the time. Okay, August 9th, 1942. Camp uh, Togoro, Georgia. More long marches tomorrow than obstacles with Captain Frawley. Frawley? And Webb's train with Sergeant Moody. Everyone is dead tired. Another guy got RTU returned to unit yesterday. He begged the sergeant to let him stay. My unit, the 506th Par Paratrooper Regiment, is an all volunteer unit. I'm lucky to serve with these guys. There, there's no one I'd rather have marching, watching my back. I'm terrible reading right now. <clears throat> our, our officers drill us continuously. I've trained for months and I haven't even jumped out of an airplane yet. The army has never had an airborne unit before and that makes the brass nervous. What makes the brass nervous makes this drill even harder. All right, listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs. And do what they tell you. Use grenades to flush out hard points. Attack, attack, attack. Move together as a team. Don't make the same mistake. Always move from cover to cover. Always reload before going into battle. Good. Now check your objectives. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. As you approach your current objective, the star will move toward the center of your compass. Approach your current objective. Suppress and flank. Finally! Shut up. Move Jeez. five paces to the left. That's it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. I don't know why it skipped that barracks that direction. Martin, good to see you. Move it, ladies. This is not your advantage, too, huh? Jump over him. Come on, Elder. Get the let out. Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. Sergeant, fire up those machine guns! Here lies Private Bell. He didn't keep his head down. In the observation tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table. Uh, sorry, I'm adjusting my sensitivity. Okay, there we go. That should work. F. To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you are carrying. Approach okay. the fence and fire six rounds at your target. Your accuracy mm -hmm. will be defined by the tightness of your crosshairs. <laughs> Fire six more go. rounds at your target in different stances and while moving. You will be more accurate while not moving and in the crowd of your prone positions. These skills will mean your life. When your magazine is empty, your weapon will reload automatically. Yeah, got it. Move on to the next area. 
Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left, move to the fence, and fire two rounds at your target. There's one. Got the two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. There's one. Right. Two. I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. All right, Private. Move on to the next area. Take a gamble mode Exchange there. Exchange your Springfield for one of the Thompson submachine guns on the table. Unless you've got what? three hands, you can only carry two weapons, besides your sidearm and grenade. Fire ten rounds at your target. First from the hip, then aiming down the gun sight. Compare your accuracy. Get firing both weapons. You will notice a slight zoom effect when you raise and aim down the sight of a weapon without a scope. Take a few steps while aiming down your sight. You're gonna move slower this way. In close quarters combat, you can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Now Three. switch weapons, Private. Unless you're as dumb as you are ugly, it may dawn on you that each weapon is good for different situations. Make the wrong choice and you could buy the farm. Fire three more rounds at your target. Outstanding, Private. Nerdy. Proceed to the next area. Stop. Tucking. Pick up the frag grenades from the table. Pick Ooh, them up. pineapples. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire. Move behind. Yep, that was true. Lean out to the left. Yeah. Right. This will help protect you from the enemy. That wasn't even fucking close enough. I threw too far over. They actually have the explosion radius of those actually decent. Mm -mm. Too short. Mm. There we go. Trying to get the lob down. There we go. I gotta pick up more grenades. Hold on, nerd. I still don't know how to switch that. It's usually a button of some kind. Not that one. I had to figure out how to switch to semi-auto. Give me a second. Shoot. Rate of Why is rate of fire M? Ew. Let's put it there. Or seven. There we go. Remember, Private, if you Hooray. get hurt, grab one of those health kits and use it. Don't be a hero. They will save your life. Our nah, last station probably will not. be explosive. Pick them up, partner. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. I like Place the compass. Explosives on the cinder block wall. I hope they bring back this type of compass for World of War. Note that a stopwatch. Rare. I keep forgetting there's no sprint. How much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown off. Fire in the hole. Um, Good job, Private. Well where's done. all the cinder blocks? Keep your weapons with you and clean at all times. You are dismissed. Hooray. Can you shoot you in the face now? Wait. How'd you get it in there? How'd you climb up there? What sorcery is this? How? What? How'd you climb up there? There's no door! Do you just live up there? Murray. If the, uh, op if the opposition disarms well and good, it if it refuses to disarm, we shall disarm it ourselves. Just of Stalin.
Baker Company, listen up. This is the okay. big one. Operation Overlord. The air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H hour D Day, seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword beaches. The airborne will be landing six hours before H hour, before the air and naval bombardments. Three. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings, linking Utah and Omaha Beach, and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Three. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. Oh my god, there's so many parachutes. Okay. June 5th, 1944, 1800 hours. Greenham Common, England. In about three hours, I will be in Normandy. As one of the Pathfinders for my unit, I have been landing ahead of the main airborne force. The Pathfinders land, be land before the main force and place beacons on the la landing fields to guide the rest of the pilots and paratroopers in. The brass are sending airborne in first in the early hours of the morning. To protect the flanks of uh, Utah Beach. At first light, the main force of the invasion will hit the beaches. For, for weeks, the entire invasion force, more than 175,000 men, have been cooped up and forbidden in contact with anyone outside. With nothing to do but memory, memorize maps and battle plans, we're all quite eager to be in France. A few hours ago, General Eisenhower paid a Paid us a visit. If we pull all this off, the Germans are in for one hell of a surprise. Oh, if you don't know, this uh, this game is being uh, uprezzed. I'm just giving it a lot of anti-aliasing. Eight times enhanced anti-aliasing with eight times super sampling. Go with Sergeant Hearth and uh, FXAA M MFA. Oh shit! I was not prepared. What is this? Can I enter you? Was there ever Intel in these games? I don't remember. Ah! Forgot to get it up. <laughs> the last time I played this game was what? When it launched, like, 2005. No, 2003. I think the last time I played this was, like, 2004 or so. Maybe 2005 at the latest. Uh oh. That doesn't look too good. <laughs> um, I think you're dead. Ooh. I don't want a Thompson. Fuck that. Thompsons were heavily inaccurate. Oh, crap. You're dead. <laughs> Did 
Did I miss? Can I not? What? Looks like they were playing checkers. Oh no, chess. A duh. Jump. Ready. Objective complete. Uh oh. They know we're here. I oh, got some friends. Artillery. Hey, hey batteries. I'm hitting R, so I don't understand why I'm not reloading. Oh, wait, what gun is this? Oh, yeah, the M1 Grand. I forgot. This one technically can't reload mid clip. <laughs> the animation is funny. Clear. Train. <laughs> that animation. It is better to die on your feet than to live on your knees. Emilio Zapata, I think. Emiliano, Emiliano maybe. Time. Okay, maybe we can get through another one. D Day, oh, 0200 hours, or oh, 020 hours. Nobody seems to have dropped where they were supposed to. I haven't seen anyone from my unit yet, but luckily I have hooked up with some of, of the guys from Baker Company. We have also. <clears throat> we also. We also have men from Able Dog and Fox Companies with us. What a mess. We're getting ready to capture the village of St. Maria. Igles? Igles? Maybe. About five miles from Utah Beach. We're approaching through a narrow field with minefields on each side. Captain Foley says there's two platoons of German paratroopers in the village. I'd say we've got a serious fight up ahead. Er, fight ahead of us. The road of St. Maria Igles uh, connects Utah Beach to the main highway of the peninsula, which should put us right in the path of most like of the most likely German counterattack. 
All right, guys, get set to move on my command. Oh, game saved. Now, why are we whispering? Let's go, let's go. Uh oh. That was terrible. That landed in. Okay, they're all dead. Hold on. I have a pistol. Oh, I'm gonna die. Ow. That did not go over well. We must be prepared to make heroic sacrifices for the cause of peace that we make on our... What is their word? grudgingly for the cause of war there is no test that is more important or closer to my heart Albert Einstein well I'm just gonna stop right here since I died thank you for watching and this has been Call of Duty 1 I guess and if you like this and want to see more of it please subscribe and like the video or whatever thank you